you are the steering committee of uh, Islington um, for Gratitude. What convinced you to be part of the uh, Islington Gratitude Steering Committee? <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> you're not, you're not we had no choice. choice. <laughs> Arms were twisted. You know, we have had um, an opportunity to organize a dinner for public sector and, and voluntary sector workers um, and you know we, we engaged with them and you know before and uh, on the day and after so how do you think Gratio impacted the life and work of the participants on those um, dinner on those occasions and your interaction well I know from speaking to one of the uh, attendees who's um, uh, you know works as a, as a, clean, a street cleaner and he was so touched to have just been recognized and to have been served and to have had his a chance to kind of share his story um, it was the first time that ever happened to him and his boss could come along um, and his boss was really pleased and I think it was just a recognition um, that for him, you know, we, we, we appreciate all the work that, yeah. that he does and that people in his profession do. I was intrigued by the police and then... because I saw the emails as well, yeah. right? so they, they were told to come, they were this is part yeah. of your job, you're now going <laughs> okay, well, and you wear uniform, you're yeah. actually there to represent us. Yeah. Yeah. But then seeing them on the night, they really embraced it, engaged with it, they were affected by yeah. it. You could you could see that shift from this is something I need to do because it's my work yeah. to a wow this actually does make a difference. Yeah. Well, that was that was neat. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was also quite educative. So then people could form networks. You know, you bring all these different service providers and people working in the community uh, into one room, around tables, getting to talk. Um, and it was interesting being involved in conversations because people were suddenly realizing where they might be able to work together or, you know, that they were working on actually very similar projects and you could share resources or thinking. So I actually think it was quite good for sort of local uh, community cohesion as well and, and networking. Mm. Yes, so there, are, there are very few events like that mm. where, where different organisations and public services have the, the opportunity to come together. Yeah, without an agenda as well. That's exactly. what I loved yep. about it. Exactly. And so many people, and particularly on the council yeah. as well, speaking to colleagues, yeah. like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, love to come along. What, what? What, what, no agenda. Agenda. Yeah. what do they want? Yeah. Like, no, nothing. <laughs> like, well, they must want some funding yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, genuinely nothing. Yeah. Like, well, am I there to, to, to talk or do that? And they're like, no, no, they just want to say thanks for the yeah. work. And that took a while. People were like, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think that the surprise that we are expressing, that we noticed in, yeah. in, in the participants, is, is uh, backing up what we were saying about gratitude as a cultural change. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm super happy. Because wanting to do something with it mm. in the future. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yes, yeah. yes. It, it, it wasn't just the experience on the, on the night that really touched people. Mm. Yes, it did. It's powerful. Yeah. As we as we were saying, but they wanted to do something with it. Yeah.